the C1 chip because I'm about to go off. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. I've been waiting for this. All right, I'll pull what up, Cha Cha? What up, now? Okay. Sneed, let me remind you. Let me go back in time. This was summer of 2020. This was during the pandemic. Cha Cha, you there? I'm with you, Musa. Okay, okay. So we were there, summer 2020. We had intelligence that Apple was coming out with their own modem in some time in the future. And they were testing that new modem. Qualcomm was testing that new modem against their X65, X70, and X75. They were comparing all three modems at the time. And by the way, keep in mind, back in 2020, the X70 was two years away. Two years away. Okay? So, ah, oh man, I, I can't wait. I, oh, I've been waiting for this day, Chacha. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew back then, five years ago, we all knew we were all on the podcast. Fucking Max was a baby back then. That's how long ago this was. <laughs> this was this was years ago. The modem was never going to have millimeter wave. That Max, was confirmed five years ago. Max was still wearing Velcro show, shoes, bro. He had this the, was he straight had up. Everybody doubted us. And nobody believed us. They were looking for sources. They were looking for fucking where are you getting your your information from? Oh, this is blasphemy. There's no Max way that Verizon is. Big wheel. He, he was pedaling, bro. Verizon's not going to let this happen. They're going to have a custom model specifically for this. Ladies and gentlemen, today, February, what day is it today? This day, the 19th. Yeah. Right? Yeah, hold your horses though, because February nineteenth, twenty twenty-five. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Soliloquy is not over yet. Soliloquy is not over yet. This is gonna get hot right now, really quick. Hold on. Yeah, but just a little, just a little ice for that. They could make a C one pro that has millimeter wave. <laughs> they listen, could make a new version with millimeter listen, wave. Just saying. This modem, the way that it is now being marketed as quote. That's why I asked you to put this article because in this article, it shows what they said on the video. Okay. It says that it is now the most, the, the iPhone with the, uh, hold on. Let me, let me get the exact quote that the lady said. See if it says here. Come on, Moose, the soliloquy, bro. I know the soliloquy, man. I'm, I'm off. I'm off. Hold on. But anyways, so this modem has been in production since the original iPhone 10, the X. Okay. Do you guys remember that the iPhone 10 was the first time that there was a deviation between Qualcomm and an Intel modem? Remember that? Mm -hmm. Right. Which, so which one had the Qualcomm? iPhone 10. The, Intel? the iPhone 10. iPhone 10 had Qualcomm, the 8s had Intel. No, no, no. Not just that. It was. Um, both flagships, depending on if you had Verizon or if you had AT and T and T Mobile, the AT and T and T Mobile versions had the Intel chip. That was started with the what? Set. Yes, yes. They did carrier variations. Yes, yeah, this was way problem. back in the day. Which problem? Oh, right. Wow. Yeah, this was wow. way back in the day. What they ended up doing is they end up throttling the Qualcomm ones so that they yes. perform lesser, like the Intel ones. Right. That's the most crazy. ridiculous thing you could imagine. Right. And you were still in Velcro shoes, Max. You wouldn't have remembered. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm actually, I'm actually pulling up the the lady's thing right now because. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what she said. Hold on. When upgrading from Let's see here. Phone. Uh, hold on here. Oh snap! What up, Tana? Performance and power oh, efficiency is only possible thanks hold to on. Apple Silicon and hold with on. iPhone 16. It is. We're expanding the benefits of Apple Silicon with C1, the first Apple designed cellular modem. It provides fast Hold and reliable it is. G connectivity. And it's the most power efficient modem. Boom. The most power efficient modem ever in an iPhone. Ever in an iPhone. That's a quote. 
the most power efficient modem ever on an iPhone. Which, which translates to it does the least. Now that's exactly right. Because <laughs> five years ago, we knew this is the part of the soliloquy. Five years ago, we knew that compared to an X70, it was doing 8% less RF efficiency than the Qualcomm. 8% less. Now, what does that mean in real world tasks, right? That could mean one less carrier aggregation. Mm -hmm. So instead of five, five carrier aggregation, it was only doing four carrier aggregation. Or in the case that we're seeing that we're going to definitely see, because I'm going to be testing this thing. I have a feeling that number one, it doesn't do all the band combinations. So it's limited with care aggregation still five years later, right? Maybe it's a patent that Qualcomm has. Who knows? The um, other thing is no millimeter wave five years later. This is absolutely insane. It's now, not because they couldn't have millimeter wave. That right. was a business decision. Right. And by and, the way, and never put it on their old lower end devices. Josh from PA Tech just responded. And I'm glad you put it up, Chacha. Do you want to read this out? This is big. The Apple C1 modem specifications include four carrier aggregation on 5G. So that's four channels. I think Qualcomm currently has five carrier five. aggregation. Yep. We're doing four gigabit per second maximum speed. It's not doing millimeter waves, so it's probably not going to achieve that because there just isn't enough mid-band in aggregation and in enough mm -hmm. depth. Uh, but Anyways, um, right. Four by four, MIMO. Four by four. So, so if I was uh, going to yeah, say, what are you missing? You're missing a carrier of NR. You're missing millimeter wave, and you're missing the most up to date Wi Fi specs. So basically, if I'm understanding you correctly, Checha, what Max said earlier is exactly right. It's better for you to get a 15 Pro purely on the RF, purely on the RF than to do this. Now, if you're purely talking about a new phone and you're going to get Apple Care on it and you potentially are going to be getting it through a carrier, right, where you're getting it for $1 or whatever, this might be the best deal because you're not going to be getting a 15 Pro for that same price. But just suck it up and get a 16. They got, or, they got those for right, two. Right, you can get a 16. And that's a whole other situation. But this changes the game, ladies and gentlemen. We now have a second modem because the pixel modem, the tensor and all that, I don't count that. I don't count that right now. The market share of pixels, not enough. This one is going to be the one because the prophecy is fulfilling itself. Back in 2020, we said that Apple is in the business of combining their Apple Silicon chips with their modem. We said this, it's on record, go back in time to the podcasts. Chacha and I spent multiple podcasts theorizing how this would look like. This is the first phone to fully integrate their modem and their GPU and CPU to make that multiple leaps of battery performance. That's why I'm still tracking that the 17 and 17 plus will come with the C1 or C2 or to Max's point, a C1 Pro, but the days of Qualcomm are numbered. We